was present for the birth of her granddaughter. She was in awe of vaginas before that moment. She is in deep worship now. <laughs> I was there when her vagina opened. We were all there, her mother, her husband and I, and the nurse from the Ukraine with her hand all up there, turning and turning while she talked casually to us like she was turning on a loaded faucet. <laughs> I was there when the contractions made her walk on all four pores, making unfamiliar moans leak out of her pores, and still there when she suddenly screamed and striked her hair, hands at the electric air. I was there in the room when her vagina changed from a shy sexual hole to an archaeological tunnel, a sacred vessel, a Venetian candle, a deep well with a tiny stuck child inside waiting to be rescued. I saw the colors of her vagina. They changed. I saw the bruised, broken blue, the blistering tomato red, the gray pink, the dark. I saw the blood like perspiration along the edges, the white, the yellow liquid, the shit, the clots, pushing out all her holes, harder and harder. I saw through the hole baby's head, speckles of black hair. I saw it just there, right behind the bone. A hard, round memory, while the nurse from the Ukraine kept turning and turning her slippery hand. I was there in the room when both of us, her mother and I, pushed her legs side and pushed as she pushed us, and her husband stood there sternly counting, one, two, three, telling her to focus harder. We looked into her there. We could not take our eyes off of her. We forget the vagina, all of us. What else could explain our lack of awe, our lack of reverence? I was there in the room when the doctor reached in with Alice in Wonderland spoons and reached into her and her vagina became like an operatic mouth singing with all its strength. First the little head, then the gray flopping arms and the fast swimming body swimming right into our weeping arms. I was there later when I just stood there I stood there and I let myself see her spread, completely exposed, mutilated, and torn. Bleeding on the doctor's hands who were so calmly sewing her then. Right then, the vagina became like a red pulsing heart. The heart is so capable of sacrifice. So is the vagina. It can forgive and repair. It can stretch to let us out, expand to let us in. So can the vagina. It can yearn for us, ache for us, bleed us into this difficult, wondrous world. I was there in the room. I remember. 